Welcome to Shakespeare Full Circle, a journey of a circuitous nature into the mind of the Bard of Avon, or as you become more familiar, Uncle Will. I'm your host, Kari Marshall. In today's episode, we travel from Elizabethan England to a Danish castle and end up by stitching together one of Uncle William's phrases that has been rejigged to land firmly in common usage. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, let's do it! Well, that may be so, Phoebe, but there is method in it. And don't call me Monica. That phrase, method to my madness, is a reworking of the original that appears in Hamlet, arguably Uncle Will's most famous play. A quick recap. Previously on Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Hamlet's father dies under mysterious circumstances, while his uncle, Claudius, ascends to the throne and takes his mother's hand in marriage, leaving the young prince sad, confused, and top full of ennui. His school friend, Horatio, and two guards come across the ghost of Hamlet's father on the battlements, and after watching with them the following night, is told by the ghost that it was in fact his uncle who killed him. Hamlet vows revenge and hatches a plan of sorts and urges his fellow witnesses to never speak of what they have seen. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. But come, here as before, never. So help you mercy, how strange or odd somewhere I bear myself, as I perchance hereafter shall think meet to put an antic disposition on, that you at such time seeing me never shall, to note that you know aught of me, this to swear. Hamlet is as good as his word, and begins acting rather oddly, especially when he is come upon by Polonius, father to Hamlet's spurned girlfriend Ophelia, and advisor to King Claudius, who is, of course, Hamlet's regicidinal uncle. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. Uh, what is the matter, my lord? Between who? <laughs> I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slanders. Uh, for the satirical rogue says here that old men have grey beards. You yourself, sir, should be old as I am if, like a crab, you could go backwards. Though this be madness, yet there's method in it. With the mainstream acceptance of psychoanalysis in the 20th century, some interesting conversations over whether one can actually go mad by acting mad have entered the arena of discussion. In fact, Hamlet makes a reference to the effect of habit by telling his mother not to return to his uncle's bed, and it will become easier the more she refrains, for, as he says, for use almost can change the stamp of nature. Which brings to mind the strange relationship between our bodies and our minds. Am I frightened because I am running, or am I running because I am frightened? The term is commonly referred to as an elucidation, that one's actions or thoughts may on the surface seem unconnected or even disjointed, but upon further examination all will become clear. Used frequently in parental explanations, as well as the Senate Appropriations Committee. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. Um, Feel free to give me a, a yes or no. There's a method here to my madness. To discussions on political moves. But I, don't, I sometimes wonder whether, as we look and we laugh and we say, oh, I can't believe he did that, whether there is a, a, a strategy, there's a method to his madness, he's still only five points behind in the biggest national poll. Or those same moves being referred to in late-night comedy by flipping the phrase for comic effect. That sounds insane, but there is a madness to their method because the former president's team evidently wanted to find a policy that sparked the same kind of reaction to his... That inverse use in rhetoric is known as chiasmus. But speaking non-rhetorically, we as human beings, much like Uncle Will, it would seem, like to find patterns in seeming randomness, I suppose to establish some purpose to give us comfort that what seems so chaotic at times must have some organization, some meaning. And with people's behaviors, that seems to work pretty well. When it comes to the bigger picture, however, well... Well, alas and alack, my friends, that's all we have time for. Join us again next time for another circuitous journey into the mind of Uncle William. I'm Kari Marshall. Farewell until next time. Shakespeare Full Circle is a production of WGTE Public Media. You can learn more and download all episodes at wgte.org slash sfc or wherever you get your podcasts.